Exercise of the week is the hundred. Many of you know this exercise, some of you don't. If you don't, I'd like you to start with the beginner version of it and then progress along as you feel you are able. Lay on your back. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Feel how your low back tucks up and then put your sacrum down. Now I like to use a ball in the beginning. Put a ball between your knees and let the knees come a little bit closer without tucking. So some of you might be able to keep the low back down. Just be careful for arching the knees away so it arches your low back. So the low back is supported. When you squeeze the ball, you feel your belly pull in. Hands behind your head. Lift your whole chest up. So really let your head be heavy into your hands so the shoulder blades go down. So the whole chest comes up as a package. Then slide your arms down, shoulder blades down, reaching like you're trying to touch the other side of the room. Start to pump the arms. Inhale for the count of five. And exhale for the count of five. Keep your gaze kind of up and over your knees. Looking at your belly kind of cranes the front of your neck a little too much. Looking at the ceiling cranes the back of the neck. So just keep your gaze up and over. Now if that's feeling good and you're feeling some blood flowing through your fingers, soaring through your toes, you can let go of the ball. Try lowering the knees away a little bit. 45 degrees or so. Imagine you're laying on a raft and you don't want to get your head wet. So keep your chest rising. You'll find the length, the more you reach your knees away, it wants to go into your neck, so keep your chest up. Straighten your legs if you can for a further challenge. Spread your toes. Checking in with your low back. No tuck, no arch. The low back, the muscles of your back, draw up to support the abdominals. The abdominals support the back, the back supports the front. Keep pumping and breathing 10 breaths. So if you're counting, inhale for the five, and then exhale for five. Play around with how long can you reach your legs out of your hips and still stay in your core muscles. And then rest. Rest your head. Feel the heat that you created in your body. I like to do this exercise before I go out in the morning. It's not cold yet, but it is coming. It warms up your core, gets the blood flowing through your muscles. If you feel tight or weak, you certainly won't after doing the 100. Good luck and come into the studio and I'll spot check you on it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.